I've set up the alarm system. I've got the alarm unit over here and then the cord attaching it to the bed pad here. You take a close look at the bed pad. It's basically lots of wire sensors rebated into a um, rubber pad. And this is the cord which attaches to the alarm unit. So how we set up the bed is you have your sheet and you have a mattress protector tucked in and then you have the bed pad long ways across the bed like this and centre it so that the child's bottom will be about in the middle of it and then I usually just cover it with something really a light sheet and I actually use a sarong because they're nice and easy to um, replace in the middle of the night. The alarm is at the end of the bed so the child will have to wake up and get out of bed to turn it off. The alarm is not plugged into the power and it won't work if it is plugged into the power out there. It runs purely off of battery. When your child's ready for bed at night, they need to come in, they need to check that the cord is attached to the alarm. So going into these two holes here. And then they need to turn the alarm on. And then they can hop into bed. And so in the night, the alarm is going to go off when they wet their bed. Um, and in order to, order to duplicate that here, I've made up a solution of salt and water because water alone won't actually set off the alarm. So are you ready? Because this is going to be really, really loud. So you've ensured that the alarm is on and it's the middle of the night and your child wets the bed. The alarm goes off and the child can see the alarm because the light's on. And the child will turn off the alarm. As soon as your child's turned off the alarm, they'll take themselves to the toilet and come back, clean everything up and reset the alarm and get back into bed. If you're worried about siblings waking up to the alarm, don't worry too much. They manage to switch it off pretty much when they know that the noise is not something they need to worry about. One feature of this particular alarm, which is pretty cool, is that it has a little counter on the top to say how long, so this one, can you see that, seven seconds to turn the alarm off. And this can be really motivating for some kids who try and beat the clock.